Tonight I'm actually stepping out of my grandma era and I'm going on a night out. When I tell you I love having time to get ready, I love having a few hours just to pamper myself. I'm going to show you my full night out routine and I, I'm so excited to film this video because I feel like I'm getting ready with someone and I feel like my night out routine or like my getting ready for a night out routine is actually elite. Like it's going to make you feel so good. So I've just showered and shaved and scrubbed. I'm literally as clean as a whistle and as smooth as... A dolphin. I've washed my hair as well. My hair's actually been sat in a hair mask all morning. But before I go on a night out, I always have to line my stomach. I remember a time when I did not do that when I was younger and honestly it's just a big mistake. If you're gonna go on a night out and you know that you're gonna be drinking a fair amount, please line the stomach. So I'm gonna have a little bowl of cereal. I am obsessed with cereal. I feel like I actually prefer cereal during the day than in the morning. I never really eat cereal in the morning, but I've got some Cinnamon Toast Crunch, absolutely elite cereal. And this is gonna be my pre-night out snack, just to line the old stomach. And then I'm gonna make a drink. I think I'm gonna dry my hair before I make the drink though, so I can drink it while I'm getting ready and do my makeup. I've actually got the tiniest bit of milk left, but it should, that should suffice. I'm really weird, I like my cereal being sat in the milk for a while. I don't like it too crunchy, but I still need it to have a little crunch. Like there's a weird window period of when cereal is just right. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. I also bought a face mask from Garnier. I'm going all out today. I'm gonna do a face mask. I'm gonna lotion my body from head to toe, which I do anyway, but I'm just gonna really like romanticize this whole thing. Oh yes. One thing that's so annoying about filming in this bathroom is it's so echoey, so I'm so sorry for the next few minutes, but I've just blasted my hair dry, which is why it literally looks like a lion's mane. But I didn't want to do that on camera, obviously, because it's just going to be really noisy. But I'll sort my hair out in a second. I'm just going to do my face mask, and then I'm also going to lotion. This is just a moisturising one. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, so... I feel like that's really good for your skin. Oh my god, these actually look terrifying. Feels very wet and moisturising. I'm going to leave this on for how many minutes? 15 minutes. Skin looks instantly hydrated, smoother and radiant. Great. And my current go-to body lotion is from Sol de Janeiro. I'm not using Bum Bum Cream at the minute. I'm actually using the Beja... Beja Floor Elasta Cream. And the reason I started using this was because when I had my boobs done again, um, because I went smaller, I was really scared of my skin stretching. And this actually has collagen in it and it helps the elasticity of your skin. So I started using this one instead. Oh my God, that's going in my mouth. And I actually prefer the scent of this now. So it's a lot more like girly and fresh and like sweet. I really like this and I'm nearly out of it, so I do need to buy another one, but I'm literally going to douse myself in this moisturiser and then I'm also going to add this on top. So I got this from And Other Stories and it's the Pearl de Coco Glow Body Lotion. I'll show it you on my arm, I don't know whether you'll see it in this light, but it just adds like a little bit of shimmer to your body. Nothing crazy where you literally look like a disco ball, but just like a... A bit of a shimmer oh, just smells so good I actually think this is a little bit more hydrating than bum bum cream as well and then tanning wise I do actually have a natural tan at the minute so I'm not using any tan because obviously it's summer and I've been going away a lot but I do want to let you in on a few products that I use if I just need a little bit more color so the only tans that I really use are instant tans so this is the one that I use for my face. I use the Ombre Soleil by Garnier. I've been using this for ages now. Han got me onto this and I never ever tan my face. Even when I'm in the sun, I always wear a cap or put something over my face. So I need something just to bronze my face up a little bit. So I use this. And then if I want a glow, just you wait for this. Just you wait. This smells unbelievable as well. But look at that. Oh, 
I'm not going to put that on yet because one, I don't know what I'm wearing and two, when I'm trying things on, it does get everywhere. Like it's not very non-transferable so you do have to be careful but once I've decided what I'm wearing, I'll always do that last. I sacked off the face mask. I feel like I've had it on long enough now. I'm just going to rub the rest of the product in and just let that sit on my face. So I don't have all of the ingredients for a margarita. Well, I do have... I have most of the ingredients for a margarita, so I'm going to make a little margarita. I don't have a cocktail shaker. So my birthday is coming up. If any of my friends are watching this, your friend does not have a cocktail shaker. But I do have the main ingredients. I've got Cointreau and I've got tequila, so we'll do something with that. So I've got Casamigos tequila, Cointreau. I don't have any limes, but I've got lime juice. So I'm hoping that does the trick. And then I also have some dark agave. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna assess the situation. I've also got tahini just to make it a little bit more of a spicy mug. Okay, so we're gonna do one shot of tequila. Oh. Have you guys seen that guy on TikTok that makes the shower cocktails? They always look so good. I would do that on my TikTok, but I don't have the facilities for that. I can't be shaking my cocktails on TikTok in a Starbucks cup, you know? Um, I'm gonna do two shots of Cointreau, by the way. Maybe a shot and a half. Probably like half a shot of lime. Lime juice. Not that much lime juice. Maybe a bit more, for good measure. This is the dark agave, so it is actually going to make it a bit of a funny colour. Let's just ignore that. And then this does have a hole at the top, so I'm going to have to cover the hole while I shake. Let's give that a little taste test. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to do half a rim of tahini. I don't have any chilies to make it a spicy margarita, but I'm sure I'll be having one at some point in the evening. I actually crave the taste of margaritas. Sensational. I've already taken a sip, but cheers guys. While I sip on my cocky, while I sip on my cocktail, I'm so sorry. While I sip on my cocktail, I'm gonna choose what I'm wearing, which is honestly probably my least favorite part of getting ready because I can never decide and I get so stressed and so flustered and I overthink it and my best outfits are when I don't plan them. I've never tried any of these on, so I'm gonna try them on now before I do my makeup. Although sometimes I always think things look ugly when I've not got makeup on. Like if I go shopping and I'm trying things on in the dressing rooms and I've not got makeup on, I'm not buying anything, you can forget it. Maybe I'll get a little drunk before I start trying things on because then everything looks good. Dress option number one is an absolute no. I mean, I love this and I feel like on holiday, absolutely amazing, but for the UK, I don't think so. Especially because I don't really think it can contain the titties. This one fits like an actual glove. Okay, this one's from Oh Polly. And this is a definite contender. This one is so beautiful. I mean, it looks a little bit plain at the minute, but with some gold necklaces and chains, and I feel like even a hair up moment. I'm just not really in the mood for a short dress tonight. I have this from my friend Bethan's brand. Again, I don't know whether this is too like holiday vibes, but it's this bandeau green situation guys the way i'm sweating after getting out of that dress whatever hairstyle i do if i wear that one i can forget about it because it's just gonna be ruined but this is the last dress i feel like again this is just giving me holiday vibes especially because it is a little bit see-through i feel like in ibiza i could probably get away with it but in the uk Maybe not. Doing my hair is not my forte in life. I actually dread doing my hair because I'm so bad at it. I usually get one of my friends to come and do my hair if I'm going on a night out, but I thought I would attempt it myself tonight because I didn't know what I was wearing either, so I didn't even know what to tell them to do. So we're gonna put the pre-night out songs on. If you want a playlist, a playlist video is coming. Don't tell me it's died. Why?
Okay, I'm gonna have to do my hair in absolute silence. I'll just play it off my phone to be fair. I'm gonna go charge this. I'm gonna go charge my camera as well because why is it flashing red already? I've been filming for like five minutes. Um, and then hopefully by the time I'm back, my hair is somewhat appealing. I've decided I'm doing my hair last because whatever I do is just gonna be ruined as soon as I put the dress on because the dress has a hole about this big that my head has to fit through. So I'm gonna just leave it as it is I've just straightened it so at least like the base is done but I'm going to do my makeup which isn't my usual order my order is hair makeup outfit but today it's going to be makeup hair outfit no makeup outfit hair wild I've charged my speaker up a little bit so I'm going to talk through a little bit of the makeup and then listen to music also because I need the music to get me prepared for the night out I need to get in the spirit of being outside in the wilderness you know so for my makeup i'm actually gonna do full beat i'm not gonna do this natural makeup that i've been doing recently or like soft glam i'm gonna go all in i'm gonna go full full frontal i don't know what that means um i'm gonna even put a lash on i've got these ones if i was to personally choose a lash i prefer a half lash but i have these ones tl19 from tatty lashes and i think i'm just gonna use like the inner corner half and make a half lash because I don't think I can do a full lash. I can't go from not wearing lashes for months to doing a full blown lash. So I'm gonna cut these up and hopefully do like a half lash. But I'm thinking for my eyes, I'm gonna do a warm smoky eye. What's new? Don't really know where to start. To be honest, I'm a bit overwhelmed by this palette because there's so many colors. I'm gonna start with Athenia. That's just really taken my fancy. So I'm gonna do this all over the lid. I can't remember whether I actually told you guys, but I'm actually doing my niece's prom makeup next week. And I'm so excited. We did a trial and she just looks so beautiful. I'm so proud of my niece. Like whenever I look at her, I just think she's the most beautiful thing ever. I mean, she is the most beautiful thing ever, but um, I'm actually vlogging my week. So I'll show you the makeup. I'm so excited. I was actually meant to be on a trip with Boohoo. I was meant to be going to LA, but there was just absolutely no way that I was going to miss my niece's prom. Like that is such a core moment. And I'm going to go in with, I'm going to do this shade right underneath. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm thinking of just doing like a smoky outer wing. And then I'm going to take Celine, which is this like chocolatey brown color. And I'm going to carefully try and just smoke out this outer corner that's the vibe we're going for tonight just sex i don't know how i feel about them i feel like i need to do the rest of my makeup before i decide whether i like it or not um but my camera battery is flashing red so i'm gonna carry on with my makeup and then hopefully show you some of the interesting products i mean my makeup hasn't actually changed for a while now okay i may have got carried away and basically done my whole face i've just left my lips out so i think i'm gonna film a makeup tutorial soon anyway because for as much as i said i use the same products i actually switched it up because i've used foundation today i've not worn foundation in ages i've been heading towards or like I've been leaning towards skin tints a lot more, but I've actually used a foundation and I forgot how flawless this foundation makes your skin. So I definitely will film more of a glam makeup tutorial soon. I'm just gonna do the final touches. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a brown liner. This is actually a lip liner from Mary's brand, but it makes such a nice eyeliner. See what I mean? It's not really adding too much. It just makes it look a little bit sexier. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of mascara on the fake eyelashes as well, just to get them to blend a bit more. Um, and then for my lips, I've actually switched up my lip combo. So I've been using Max Spice. It is so different for me because usually I use quite a dark brown. And this is more, I guess it's still brown, but more of like a warm, ready brown situation I'm not going to apply lipstick but I'm going to do a gloss and this is also from Mary's brand Nude and this is in the shade 
425. I used it for the first time on the Mars the Label trip. And from then, I was literally obsessed. Okay, so that is my makeup done. Do I like it? I don't know. It's just very different to what I'm used to at the minute. But I'm going to try and salvage this hair. I really don't know what to do with it. I'm going to put the dress on first, though, because, like I said, if I try and do any hairstyle right now, it's going to be out within 10 seconds. I'm so glad I left my hair. If you saw the meltdown I've just had... Guys, look at the dress. I got makeup all over it it was literally impossible to put on i think it's one of them dresses where you need to put the dress on before you've done your makeup but i've just vanished it and i'm gonna hair dry it and hopefully it'll be okay okay meltdown over i feel less flustered now this wasn't the hair that i was planning but i feel like it really suits the vibe and with a nice pair of earrings and jewelry these are the earrings that i'm wearing these are actually bottega earring dupes <laughs> they're not the real thing but i think these oh yes when you do a slick bun, it looks a little bit boring until you start accessorising and then it really comes together. I've also got a bunch of other ooh, a bunch of other earrings in this area as well that just make it look a bit fancier. The bag, I was originally planning on wearing this one, but everyone else is saying Mew Mew. So I think I'm going to do Mew Mew and then maybe wear some pink heels as well. These are all of my favourite nighttime perfumes. So I have the Jeroboam Insulo. Incredible. I actually smelt this in Harvey Nichols for the first time and literally fell in love with it. It's like very sweet, vanilla -y, but like dark and sexy, if that makes sense. So that is a very strong contender for tonight. I've got Oud Satin Mood by MFK, another really strong contender. This one, <laughs> this one just smells like very rich like I am a rich woman I'm a powerful woman it's very oody I'm not very good at describing scents as you can tell I don't think I want to wear this one tonight sometimes it is too strong where it gives me a little bit of a headache obviously Baccarat Rouge although I'm not in the mood to wear this I feel like I go through peaks and troughs with this I do love it but everyone and their mum wears it at this point so not really the vibe i've got oud rosewood love this scent this one's more of a i'd say it's more of a fresh oud scent and then i've got delina which i think i'm gonna wear this one tonight because this one is like sweet it's feminine it's elegant but it's still just like really nice <laughs> delina it is and it also goes with my bag so i think i'm gonna stick that in there um, I also need to pack my lip liner and my lip gloss. I need my ID, which is already in there. What else do I take on a night out? I take my lip gloss, my lipstick, lip liner, my ID. Oh, I bought a little brush. I mean, I don't really think I'll be needing it because my hair's slicked back, but just in case I need to, like, go over it, I've got this little fold-out brush that I got today in body care. And it makes me feel like I'm in high school again. I literally used to have this in high school. That is me ready. My camera is literally about to die. So I'm going to have to wrap up this video really quickly. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me get ready and have a million meltdowns. Yeah, I love you all so much. If you're going out, then have an amazing night. And I will see you in the next video.